What's up Chad, welcome to today's video. So I want to talk about another cool project that I found for you guys recently, it's called Mythic X. Now I have already posted about this one in my Discord community, so for those of you guys that haven't joined yet, go in the description of this video and you can join there so you're the first one to see any of these projects that I find. So these guys have just come out with their first white paper, so now that there's a decent amount of information on there, I thought I'd do a little video for you guys to kind of explain what these guys are all about. The, the white paper was cool, but that's a nice designer. I was speaking to one of the team members and they said that this guy who made this white paper is going to be the same guy that's going to be working on the website and the dashboard and stuff like that as well. So it'll be interesting to see what, how that turns out. So basically this project is going to be a hybrid project between a bunch of different protocols. So if you've ever been in node protocols or uh, tomb forks or play to earn games or you know any of these type of projects then this project has kind of a little bit of everything all into one so I'll explain a little bit more about how that works now uh, the team members as well the team members are they come from various different projects some of them worked on lava finance some of them worked on power nodes uh, a bunch of different projects that I'm sure some of you would have heard of so it's always comforting to know that uh, the guys working on the project have been working on previous projects that have been you know uh, safe and reliable projects anyway. So I'll explain a little bit about the protocol. So Matic X is building a utility-based token that will be owned and utilized by protocols across the Matic, Eco the Matic ecosystem. So basically this is going to be a, a toon fork so they will have uh, Mythic X which will be uh, pegged to Matic. So they'll have the Mythic X token and this one will be pegged to Matic and then they will have their core token which will be the fortune token now the idea obviously is building a sustainable pragmatic so that then people involved in the project protocol user and the partner protocols in the matic ecosystem can achieve long-term sustainability and growth through holding the, the core fortune token so this is where the play to earn aspect comes in so what happens when the protocol is above peg you can participate in these quests so you can start this quest by buying the Myth token via Quickswap or enter the Genesis pools. Then you can stake your Myth on each quest and then the quest lasts five days. So after each quest your character will lose some of its stats and you have to then replenish its stats in order to then do more quests. And it's saying here as well, when your character has uh, full stats then it's going to be have the max APY. And also there'll be an opportunity to stake your fortune in the liquidity pool to, to earn myth. And now it talks about what happens when the protocol is below peg. So they go into a recruitment phase. Uh, the kingdom is in trouble. We will rally the troops to prepare the quest once again. Stake fortune, buy fortune or bond fortune to save the kingdom. So everybody kind of comes together in order to make the price of um, Mythic X uh, back to its peg again. So this project, as you can already guess, is going to be launched on the Polygon blockchain. So it aims to, aims to you know, have its own little ecosystem, but then for other protocols within the Polygon ecosystem to then use this, um, to use this protocol to then profit from, basically. So there's a few key points here. So Mythic X sits at the heart of the Polygon ecosystem with Fortune serving as a reserve currency and boosting the value and utility of the MAG token. Uh, the Treasury. As the treasury grows, the outflow to support the other projects will also happen simultaneously. So Team X, so this is the name that's going to be given, I guess, to all the different protocols within the ecosystem. Mythic X will add value to other Polygon projects in order to foster a deeper sense of community in the Polygon ecosystem. We will support the noted X team projects with resources. So here it just goes on about, um, like I was saying before, about all the different aspects of the project, but these are just the ones that are going to be here for launch time they've got plenty of different features that will be coming soon too. So it goes into a little bit more information on the into a little bit more detail on the quests here. So instead of just like a normal protocol where you would just uh, stake your tokens, these guys are gonna do you know quests in order to then generate the APY rewards instead. And uh, yeah it kind of just goes over what I explained before about the about the stamina bars. The game you know it kind of has a little bit of strategy to it as well because it's saying here that if you know you haven't got enough stats and then you fail the quest and then you won't be given the reward at the end of the period and you'll have to pay the tavern a fee as well so you need to make sure that you have enough stats before you end up starting a quest 
uh, the land's okay. So yeah, these guys are off in land as well, kind of adds like an, an NFT node kind of aspect to the project as well. So obviously a different, the different lands have different APY rewards. So these are the three different stats I was talking about before. First one's health, second one's durability, and the third one is stamina. So here, you know, we was talking before about what happens when the protocol goes below peg. So this explains a little bit more detail exactly what happens. As soon as it goes below peg, everything switches off basically. So all the, all the quests and stuff you're doing before, they switch off and they go into a recruitment mode. During this uh, mode, there will be a fixed 15% kingdom tax whenever any fortune is claimed. Uh, from rewards chest after questing, from rewards chest to node holders. So, what the the aim is basically is, you know, once it goes below peg, is to stop people then, you know, jeopardizing the the protocol, and you know, to make it with peg even more, and to and to force people, you know, to um, to compound and to buy, and to get the project back up to its peg, basically. So the alchemy room is, I guess, what it was, what I was speaking about before. If you want to. Uh, stake your fortune to the liquidity pool then you can earn yourself some myth and yeah when I was saying before in uh, the future they're going to bring more aspects to the ecosystem as well so it goes on about a few things they've got lying coming up and uh, yeah so if you are interested in the project obviously I'll put the links in the description to the discord and stuff like that and that's where you head over there and they are still in the whitelisting phase so you can go ahead and get yourself a whitelisted spot all you have to do is do certain tasks. It explains here a little bit the levels that you can uh, get. I think you have to get to at least level three if you wanted a, a whitelist. So you can head over to the Discord and uh, then go into the whitelisting info channel and find uh, the way to get yourself to level three. And uh, yeah, so as of right now, this is the information we've got. This is the whitelist uh, website, obviously, still not available. Still quite early in this one. Whitelisting is available, like I said. So, yeah, so go and head over there and get yourself a whitelist spot. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. So thanks for listening, as always. Until next time, bye.